NHL Hart Trophy winner, MVP of the National Hockey League in uh, well, a while ago now. Uh, Corey Perry, I, you're, I, I had to check the number. Was it 2007? Was that it? Uh, 2007 was my was when we won the Stanley Cup. Um, right. Okay. The heart heart was in 2011. Okay. Same with same with the Rocket. Yeah. The the chemistry you had at that point with with Ryan Getzlaff was, I think, as good as any combination in the history of the game. What was it that made it so special to play with Ryan? Well, I think you look at what type of player he was. He was a big guy that like like to carry the puck and hold on to the puck. And, um, you know, I'm a guy that uh, is either by the net or, or trying to get open and, um, you know, working it down below the top of the circles. And, uh, you know, so he, he did a lot of the, a lot of the work. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, but I guess I was doing different work, you know, trying to get open or, you know, taking a beating in front. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, we came in together, we were drafted together, like nine picks apart or 10 picks apart. Um, so, you know, it, it's that bond we had right from the start was, uh, was, was on parallel and it, it just carried over to our hockey. Outside of the Stanley cup and, and the ring, uh, the rock and Richard trophy was as, as impressive as anything. What was that year? Like, do you, do you ever recall or reflect on, oh, yeah. on those times? And how many times the puck went in the net? I uh, I do all the time, uh, especially when the puck's not going in. Yeah. Now uh, it was you, only you look one. back, or yeah, you look back and and you think of you know what did I do, and maybe you know I've been on YouTube a couple times and and looked it up and uh, you know watched all fifty goals for that season. So you know it it's hold on hold, it's on, hold on hold on hold on you're go, you go, just a minute here I gotta I gotta make sure I heard that <laughs> you go on YouTube. <laughs> You yeah, watch you yourself. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, if, if, you know, if I'm going through a, through a rut or, um, you know, I think I'm getting chances, but the puck's not going in the net. Um, yeah, I'll go watch what I've, what I've done in the past just to see if I could pick something up or, um, you know, just do something maybe a little bit differently. So yeah, it's, uh, it's about, about learning and always getting, trying to get better. And um, yeah, it's, <laughs> I said it, 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 it's out there now. <laughs> How would you describe watching that and and what you're watching and seeing on those uh, those fifty goals? Well, sometimes I just look at my, I just think to myself, how did that go in? I, you know, <laughs> how did how did I get a piece of that? Uh, how did that tip go in or you know hit me in the foot at the top of the circles went in the net? Like things were just going in the net. Um, you know, I think after the All Star game, it was like twenty two or twenty five goals in the last twenty games. So. It, you know, those are those are numbers that there's only probably a couple of guys in this league that can put up. Uh, so, you know, it, it's it's fun. to It was a fun year. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It uh, it really was because obviously, you know, things were going in the net and you're having fun and, and winning. In Anaheim, your biggest rival was in the end San Jose rather than the Kings or was it always the Kings more so? The playoff series against San Jose were special yeah early on there it was probably san jose uh you know they they had some pretty good teams and uh i remember remember we were eight one year playing them there number one and i think we beat them in five games or six games um you know but they got heated jesse and thornton fought on yeah fought games wasn't that the four. opening face-off was the it opening that the opening face-off yeah yeah so you know you you, you think about those kind of things and then Later in my career, it became the Kings. Um, you know, we we started playing them a little bit more in the playoffs, and it uh, you know they, they beat us beat us both time both times. So, and then I think they both they went on to win the cup both years. So it uh, you know it's it's something that you know, as time goes on, you, different teams come in, different teams go out that that you have rivalries against. But uh, LA being only half an hour away, it was it was a pretty good one. How did you get the nickname Worm? Everybody asks me every everywhere I go. People ask me that name uh, or ask me that question. But Todd Bertuzzi, when he came to uh, when he came to Anaheim, um, he he did, he just said it one day, and it, it's never left. What was your so, nickname oh, yeah. before? Paris. 
yeah so kind of (laughs) unique one yeah it was uh yeah i mean you know he came in and uh, it must be just the way i was playing on the ice just you know just moving around slithering around or whatever he said and um you know it's it's uh it's stuck ever since. Now my little guy's little worm. So I was going to ask, is, is he little worm? <laughs> <laughs> he is. He, he's little worm. It, uh, so yeah, he he's excited about that. That's my favorite <laughs> should, part, right there. Yeah. I should have uh, I should have asked when we were talking about Griffin playing youth hockey. But does he play Corey Perry hockey? Is, uh, a, little, it, it, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. We're trying to get him. <laughs> we're trying to get him to. <laughs> To, to skate and uh, and and be like Connor McDavid, um, so we'll see where that goes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love your style. I, I'll be uh, flattered, honest. There's there's guys that can play uh, slick and fancy, and and you had a little bit of both. You you've always had a little bit of both. Maybe uh, people gravitated towards the other stuff, but uh, in in for a high profile junior guy, you were able to be multi dimensional with the with the style. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, you could say that. I mean, in junior, um, you know, I was putting up points, but I was also in the penalty box probably a little too much for, for Dale's liking, but uh, uh, over 100 penalty minutes a couple of years, and, you know, those those things happen. But, um, yeah, it's just just the way I play, um, just the way it's been ingrained in me, and it's the, you know, the not, not liking to lose and, and just always pushing the, pushing the boundaries a little bit and, you know, sometimes in my career it's cross, but uh, for the most part, I try to stay on the one side. That that whole competitive thing is that your greatest attribute. I mean, when you think about everything you do, the desire not to lose mm-hmm. ends up, and your competitiveness becomes such a factor. That's that's one thing I, I you know I'm, I'm pretty proud of is is how competitive I can be and. Um, I mean, at at this level, you, you only get here because you either, you know, you're competitive or you got a you got a lot of skill that uh, nobody's going to take the puck off you. So, um, you know, it's it's one of those things where I just keep pushing each and every day, trying to be trying to get a little bit better. But uh, you know, when that puck drops, then it's it's game on. I'm curious, are you in better shape now as an NHLer than you were, say, in 2011 or 2007? Uh, probably, yeah. I pro- I, I definitely put in more time um more time in the gym and also started power skating uh you know a couple times a week in the summer so it's it, you you have to at my age you know watching these kids come in it's uh it's something you have to you have to put in time and you have to take care of your body so what do you work on now as opposed to earlier in your career uh well obviously you know just trying to get a little bit a little bit quicker, a little bit, a uh, little bit stronger, like everybody says. But you know, I'm a pretty lean guy, you know, tall, lanky kind of guy. So it's uh, it's definitely not easy. But um, you know, and and the power skating, it's it, it it's probably the only reason I'm still playing is because I'm putting in that time on the ice in the summertime where uh, I wasn't before. What, who's your <laughs> coach in the summer? A skills coach and and it's specifically the first two strides or stride and a half yeah it's a yeah we we do a progression yeah it goes from edge edge work and then you know as we get going it uh it definitely you know ramps up to trying to get you know out of tight spaces or get away from somebody yeah it's the first two three strides and um you know she she does a heck of a job for you know working with me and there's a lot of guys that uh that have come to use her and kathy McElwain. um so she's uh, she's definitely helping uh, around the London area. Just I'm just curious, you so you'll start the season around like two o five. Is that fair? How how uh, how heavy will two, you be? Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. And yeah. by the end of the season, you'll be what one ninety five. I uh, you know it's normally I'm pretty pretty good. Like I'll lose when I was playing a lot of minutes, I was losing six to six to 10 pounds in a game, but then, you know, put the water back in and get, you know, eat a little bit. But um, the last couple of years, I've been under 200 pounds by the time, by the right. time we finished. I mean, it was just so much hockey that it, ever since the bubble going to the three, three finals in a row, it's uh, and no, really no break in between to, yeah. to get your body back into shape and, you know, this is probably this is well. This is the first summer that I've had, and 
in, uh, in, in three or four years where, you know, I could put the time in, put the work in and, uh, and really focus on things. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, when playoffs hit, it's a grind. What were the projects at the cottage then that you had time? <laughs> just, just relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's uh you know, the cottage is, is just the time, you know, we go up and it's all, all done. So it's, you go up and just relax, relax in the boat. And, uh, you know, the little guy started tubing this summer and, you know, next year I'll probably be water skiing. So it's a uh, little, th- little projects like that, but nothing, uh, nothing too, too hard or too physical.